Ivo, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what this? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere okay so download tap tap sign on google play store or app store and when you're in texas or around you just have to put in the code txgh what did i say txgh and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make <laughs> texas you drew huh? very soon we'll conquer everywhere <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Everybody check now. Check it. Fa check it. Fa check it. Check it. Huh. The beat is real. Don't we make it kill ya. Get your green select rocometer. And check it. This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. of happy 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 moments right here in the studios of sammy flex tv showbiz daily it is and uh friday edition there yeah i'm not here in america crap so in brand here they are to be an arena over come an arrogant when you're not about it yeah ever can ever come you will be a kind of book or has it i'm sure say sammy sammy everything you know what you need yeah and i say i say uh yes charge you for i say i say i saw you a call from kakra because uh <laughs> 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 and you my how I sorry I oh I like I say I I sorry I'm pretty for I busy you know it's a quite sorry cry members intimate my sorry because I'm okay can I was sorry the morning I call for a current you best that I saw him pretty for say baby be around will be a young one I'm in it to coin and pretty for baby a young boo say oh yeah I'm quite especially on Friday say all night service revival be so it me evangelism and I eight to ten near the no more evangelism Oh, a rebel ashes, moon, or my church, church, a rebel ashes, a Cuban, a Cuban, more rich, 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 more. A money be cry, remember, just a moon, a moon, a moon, a moon, a Jackie Watson, Jackie Watson, moon, I say, remember, so I sent him. Okay, may patrol member to comment now, say, which which church are we talking about? Who person who church in the corner? This is the numbers on the screen. Call or test. And then I mean test in no way be appropriate. It just test and then we will teach you what we mean by a sorry, a sorry name. All right, so let's say thank you to Carissa the guitar rasta, Richie Flex. They are the main man behind today's episode. And uh I'm not doing this thing all alone. Always my charges have been just doing extremely good, good, good by helping us entertain you, educate you, and of course inform you on whatever is going on in our space and of course outside our space and to you too for being a part of the show now and then god bless you and keep keep keep
pushing for us. If this happens to be the first time you joining us on this platform, um, Sammy Flex TV welcomes you. And of course, let's do the subscription. Please do what to subscribe. Anytime you put any content here, you'll be the first person to, you know, get it and enjoy it. The comment section is also reserved for you. Whatever we are going to discuss here, be a part of it. Like, it is very, very important to us. Now, brothers, officially, my mama kwaba. Jamo bibi abo kodi ya. Boko, very much. Ejuma musa mune. Yeah, yeah, guso. Bibi ase ye. Yeah, boy, juma ya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, but we are silly. So, who person Bob Bra now? One could be social pressure. I acquired a chidia and then, and then, so yeah, Juma. And yes, I press out before my dizzy demonstration now. Over Kakoya, and we don't want to do that. So, we, we are doing our best. Yeah, nice one there. And Roland, me, mm. I ain't crying. I mean, I cry. I want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, I what, what's going on in town? Of course, the last time I said that the Queen Mother of the Land had passed on, mm -hmm. and this weekend is the funeral or the burial of, of her. So, um, as rights and customs, I think it has been banned since this is the capital of, of mm -hmm. the nation, and it is not only occupied by guns. Mm. Of course, some of the even the rules and regulations, as far as the cultural stuff are concerned, mm -hmm. has to be considered, which is why. Um, I think the, there was a communique that they were going to use this whole week. Mm -hmm. But then, in terms of a curfew, where she'll be buried tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's, it's been applied strictly tomorrow. But today, that is the evenings of Fridays through to Saturday, is mm -hmm. one that they would want to plead with people, especially mm -hmm. um, business people, to, yeah. to pay that last respect to, to the departed queen. Yeah. Now, they did. So um, it's that's that's what has made town very quiet. And how lo how long is this going to be? Oh, from up, um aside tomorrow, I think Sunday Sunday is full operation. Sunday everybody is allowed to do whatever they would want oh, okay. to. Okay. Yes, you know she's a royal, so it is just the burial period that mm. um, the curfew will be observed. But from Sunday through to when uh, like after Saturday, everybody is at liberty mm. to to do whatever they want to do. Okay, okay, okay. So that means no business, no stores open, no shops, no offices open. That is tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Then, and the other rounds that people do in town well, is fine. Of course, you, you can go around to do, if if it is not um, far away, one that, and because most businesses will be closed, most of the things that will be done will be done like small, small things, maybe in the area, you, mm. you just, it, it will just be mm. a semi quarantine like the COVID time mm -hmm. when people were asked to be home mm -hmm. and all that it is not one that will require you going from here to Kwashima to go and buy something mm -hmm. because wherever mm -hmm. you would want to go and buy that particular shop probably might be closed mm -hmm. so yes if, if you can go out and do your stuff but mm -hmm. it's it is just an observe like an observation and respect to to the queen mother of the land mm -hmm. and I must say I am very happy with the way certain institutions have mm -hmm. been complied. In fact, I've received certain text messages from from even banks and other mm -hmm. institutions all paying respect to some of yeah. these things. And yeah. it makes me happy that yes, aside the fact that we we are civilized or like we we've we've grown into a certain age, mm. certain things are still being respected, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to cultural stuff or mm. intercultural stuff which probably might not be our own mm. so if if you live in somebody's land or you, you maybe you find yourself up north and there's a cultural su something going on that will require you mm -hmm. to as little inconvenience mm. at least you should be able to respect it because um i think it happened in ashanti region mm -hmm. people respected it it is happening here and so many people have mm. respected it mm. so yes i am happy that as Ghanaians regardless of our cultural differences, mm -hmm. we still respect each other's coexistence. Yeah. Not to mean that, oh, me na my be me shop, me na ma koye say, na person mo say, but then, because you also hope the person respects your culture, mm -hmm. you also respect the person's culture, and that is how we can coexist as a people. So, um, I'm, I'm very happy it is, in as much as we are still, we are in the morning season, but then, um, I think oh, so far it's, it's been very good. So far it has been very good. This is what uh, is happening in the center part of Ghana, um, Accra, to be precise. And uh, it is well. It is well. I'm thinking about Omar Chebu 
will be a honoma or yeah hand to mouth. Mm. What you say? Yeah. Just has a store, be, has a small shop. Them, be. Yeah. It's not going to be easy on them. Yeah, yeah, that. for sure. But whichever way, quarantine, or even uh, COVID came for this number of period, they were even survived, not just a day or two. Not really. At some point, they, re they uh, have relaxed it so mm. that some people, because some people don't even have a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. So they are just roaming. Mm. They caught some people, beat them and mm. all that, mm. but that's what it is. I remember they interviewed one guy and they asked him, why don't you stay at home but you are here? And then the guy said, oh, I was coming to see what is really happening yeah. in town. But in actual fact, when you look at the person saying that, <laughs> you can clearly say that he, he has, has no place to live. He's just roaming. So when you, 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 you meet him or something, mm. he will have to say something and then he said he's just coming to town to see what is happening. Mm. Oh, wow, be that. So there are some people who will suffer for this, but mm. if it is not that long as they are saying, mm. only for Saturday, then maybe if you are a religious person, mm -hmm. just take it into prayers and mm -hmm. do fasting yeah. in addition. Yeah. Maybe based on that, God will even bless you mm -hmm. for, for good things to come into your life. So let's let's observe it. I mean, mm. it's tradition, and and it it's, to go it's, on. it's it's better to respect mm. our tradition than to do other stuff that will not even help us yeah. when, when you consider what is happening. So mm. I, I wish that they will not take it to the extreme. But mm. what they are asking for is not mm -hmm. that much. So let's just yeah. observe it and and see, and then go forward. Yeah, move on with it. Okay, all right. So uh, this is what Chemo has also got to say about this whole thing happening inside Accra now. Now, we want to move straight to business, unless maybe brothers have something to share with me. Okay, all right. Uh, what, um, Chemo is a YouTuber, IT specialist. Nana Regan happens to be the road manager to Rough Town Records and Wendy Shea in person. And uh, Roland Amate, social media marketer to Shagzi and uh, Shatawale Movement. Is a part of it. Brother Bibi Aboko comes on. Okay, all right. So let's move straight to business where we find George Quay. George Quay, where he expresses his displeasure. He's, he's not happy, not, not happy at all uh, with some agencies of the government. And uh, same way, the artists, he's saying the artists are playing, I mean, or acting lazy. They are being lazy. He is not going to ye any or train or any adoa. They are acting lazy, all of them. Only or train any adoa, and he is not going to use <laughs> any or train or adoa. Only or train adoa. That's it. Why? Because at a point, FDA came out and was like, "No, celebrities should not advertise any alcoholic beverage or any so I mean alcoholic drink." And this artist or celebrities or whatever they call themselves relaxed felt reluctant they never said anything did they have something to say let's go listen to how he said it and the advice he put out there when we come back we'll spread it with our brothers here ghanaian artists actors musicians painters comedians everybody alike are lazy when it comes to certain things are lazy when it comes to things that that either destroy their brands or take food out ghanaian artists actors musicians painters comedians everybody alike are lazy when it comes to certain things are lazy when it comes to things that, that either destroy their brands or take food out of their mouth. When this country, when the FDA literally told Ghanaian brands, alcoholic beverage brands, that if you want to use celebrities, go to Nigeria. Of course, they did not say it that way, but inference and by actions. And that was exactly what happened. We, we, we saw it. It happened. I mean, brands from here went to Nigeria to pick the actors mm -hmm. to feature mm -hmm. in the adverts. And they came to play the adverts back to us yeah. when actors were here hungry. The boys did nothing, nor the girls. Then the Gaming Commission also came up with a law to ban them, that you cannot advertise gaming or anything of the sort. And again, they are quiet. So, if somebody has decided to take your brand and do whatever it is he wants to do with it, what are you now coming to do? Things that are important that you can fight, organizations that you can work with to help them achieve exactly what they want to achieve. If you want to ensure that kids do not drink, kids do not patronize alcoholic beverages, kids do not go into betting, who better to use as a brand ambassador against it than a celebrity? So why wouldn't you rather find creative ways to work with them? 
So that if you're saying, okay, Robert Clare, you're a big star, you lead the VGMA team and everything. If you're going to advertise any advertising um, alcoholic beverage, 30% or your 50% of your revenue is going to this fund. This fund is going to uh, be in, uh, managed by the National Civic Education, whatever, whatever people, so that they can use it to develop promo materials for schools. We'll go around on tour. So for every one uh, advertising beverage advert you do, you would have to visit five schools to speak to kids against smoking, against drinking. Wouldn't this be progressive? Wouldn't it be a win-win for everybody? But rather, you, you shut them down. And, and they are quiet. They don't care. Everybody told them, just keep quiet. You can't do this. Gaming commission. Do I said, it will get to a point. Even Ghana will tell them, you can't turn on your tap in your house. We'll ban you. And they'll be quiet. Because that's them. They don't care. All they know is that, yeah, let's go on Twitter. Let's go here. Let's go and make this. But they don't care. When it is really important, Ghanaian artists never, ever step up. All of them. I'm not leaving anybody out. And his last statement, all of them, I'm not leaving anyone or anybody out. He's not leaving any altering or any adore. Chambo, let's start yeah, from you. And, uh, do you agree with him that Ghanaian, uh, you know, artists are lazy for they not, you know, questioning or fighting for their, should I say right or whatever? Yeah, I, I disagree with him for using the word lazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, what he said is obvious. We all know that, yes. I think they, they can do better, but it doesn't mean that they are lazy. Mm -hmm. You can even see that they don't know their rights. They are not exercising the right that they have. Mm -hmm. like, you can use any other word, but lazy. Mm -hmm. Because when you say somebody is lazy, it means the person is not willing to work to, to, to and whatever they're supposed to get. That's, that's the meaning of somebody being lazy. And that's what they are the, not working. That is what the artists But it's not true. Artists are working. They do their songs. They, they do their promotions. They okay. do stuff. In contest with what he brought up. Yeah. As in the FDA uh, sanctioning or putting a, yeah. a heart to it. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to at least chase. Or that's not artist work. That's where I have issues with him. Okay. Artists, they are, they, what they know best is the music that they do. Mm -hmm. What they know best is their craft. Mm -hmm. Other things they learn along the line. Other mm -hmm. things they learn to fight for something that they need mm -hmm. or they, they may get in doing so. Mm. So describing them as lazy will, will not be a better word for me. I, I think you can say maybe they don't know their right. Maybe they are ignorant about the laws mm. and how to fight it. Mm. That doesn't mean that they are lazy. No, you know, your, your definition for the lazy, that's why mm -hmm. I'm saying that you are saying that someone who is reluctant, yeah. who hasn't made efforts to, to do, do certain things. things yes. Now, the FDA people or mm -hmm. whatever came inside yeah. and told you, no, don't do it. Yes. And if you don't mm -hmm. further or approach them or tell them that this and this, and this mm -hmm. it sounds like you are being lazy because yes. you are being reluctant. Yes. And you are saying that it is not their duty. Yes. Because they it, can push someone to do that. Yes, of course. But this is the law here that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So if they think that, well, oh, it's about the law, so I, I don't think I have anything to do. Mm -hmm. why, why should they? What do you expect from them? Mm. They, they should be somebody like... Uh, uh, George Quay, as mm -hmm. he is talking, telling mm -hmm. them that Charlie, there's a way to fight this. Let's mm -hmm. do it. I mean, I was expecting him to give an example that okay, I approached some artists. I told them that Charlie, we have to fight this, and then they said no, I'm not interested mm -hmm. or something. Then we, we take it from there. Yeah. But just to say that they are lazy because they are not talking or so. What do you expect them to do? Mm -hmm. They should start insulting the authorities or they should take them to court or mm -hmm. what like what exactly do you want them to mm -hmm. do we all know that what the the uh, uh, institution at that time did mm -hmm. i mean i think they are still doing it mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. uh, they as for the uh, the i think the game gaming thing, commission they have relaxed it a bit because they were saying that no the com the communicate didn't come out well mm -hmm. but people can do it just that they should Follow certain things or that, like they, because they they, 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 they now the that tax and their their tax is okay for them. Yeah. So yeah, the the, the thing for me is that you you don't have to do mm. anything to, I mean, uh, for for them, I think artists don't have that that right. Mm. Artists don't have that right at all mm. to to go after uh, law. Mm -hmm. But some people, it, it's, it's also a job for some people. 
some people can decide that, okay, when something like this come out, we are going to fight mm -hmm. with the blessings from the artists. Mm -hmm. So when it comes out like that, they will mobilize the artists, tell them what is going on mm -hmm. and how much they can support them because now they will need money to go uh, to court, mm -hmm. file certain kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, documents and all mm -hmm. that. So uh, I think George Quay should rather be telling artists that you have certain rights that you may not be aware of. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the ways to fight it. Mm. So let's form an organization who will be fighting on behalf of artists, but this is what mm -hmm. I need from you guys. And see whether they will support or not by calling them lazy because they don't know how to fight the law or they are not talking about what is happening. I don't think it's, it's right. But the thing that he said, mm -hmm. apart from calling them lazy, mm -hmm. we all know that uh, it's true. Mm -hmm. When after the, uh, the bans and all that, we didn't see anybody challenging yeah. what came out. Mm -hmm. And the best way to challenge it is to take it to court or mobilize, gather more people mm -hmm. to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the question will be, who should do that? It's whose responsibility yeah. to mobilize them. Will, Shatawale will come out and insult some of them and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and tell them, why are you going to this place? Why are you having this meeting? Mm. Then somebody somewhere will also come and insult Shatawale. You, it's because they didn't call you. Mm. That's why you are talking mm. and all that. Mm. So for, for, the, for, for that way, it will not work. The best way is that there should be a third party institution. Maybe plug up will take it upon themselves. Mm -hmm. And then when there's an issue like this, you call artists and say that, Charlie, I need your support because I want to push this mm. agenda. Mm. And let's see what will happen. But I, I disagree with George Quay for calling them lazy. Lazy. Just okay. that whatever that he said that they are not fighting mm. is true. Okay. All right. So let's move to Dana Reagan. Brown. Yeah. Yes. I see artists, yeah, yeah, lazy uh, for not fighting. Uh, yes. I, I agree with him 100%. Okay. But um, I think... Uh, with Chemo's point, I would also want to maybe change the word lazy. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you ask me, maybe I will use proactive or they are not taking charge of okay. <coughs> some, some things. I, I think that George Quay has made a right observation and mm -hmm. he has a case in what he is saying. For me, I would exempt Wendy Shea mm. because those of you that have followed um some of these announcements okay right after the announcement i think he took it upon himself to you know advocate yeah, yeah. like to 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 talk about it hashtag for some time. Ghana recap. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to talk about <laughs> it for some time just that you know mm -hmm. here our authorities are always scared of crowd mm. or numbers they are not scared of just a single person's mm. rounds or mm. anything so he, assuming if we had one or two more other influencers or uh, uh, a list artists mm -hmm. joining hands with when they share to you know even push just on, on social mm -hmm. media to push that agenda i think mm -hmm. they would have reconsidered their thoughts and some changes would have been done but they left everything mm -hmm. for when they share to to, mm -hmm. to 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 fight alone and mm -hmm. that didn't work she also has other things to do so of course you fight for some times when you, you you realize the the and authorities are not responding mm. to what you are saying. You have to go back to your 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 um, daily activities or work and then I go and, and do your work. So yes, Josh should have exempted Wendy Shea because at least she has <laughs> <laughs> she has hashtag yeah, Ghana she Wicca. has she has at least made that effort too. So I was expecting him to at least mention that. But in general I think George George is hundred percent right. Mm. Yeah, George Gray is hundred percent right. It's, and it's, even it's with so the sad. advice that it he is, was given, it is so sad. Like, how can how can we sit in this country and 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 like a gaming commission will be giving license to 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 betting companies, mm -hmm. and yes, they will come back and say that we don't want uh, uh, celebrities mm. to endorse. The, like, how does that make sense? You, the authority that can can control mm. the. Uh, the youth or the playing of soccer betting or whatever mm. betting you have given the people the license to operate to yeah now when the people are operating in your public you say there are influencers in the public so mm. they should not do business with mm. the yeah. people you have given license to mm -hmm. like it does not make sense 
It doesn't make sense for me. Now they have even put tax on cash out <laughs> on bet. Well, which one is that one? Eh? How, how is that one? Every yeah, bet that you play, when you win, they mm-hmm. will take tax from it. So let's say if you win 100 cities. They will take, take tax. There are percentages. Cities. Yeah, they will take 10 cities from it. Mm-hmm. So so my, my question is, they have really, I think one of the things that, you know, uh, uh, um, triggers some of this taxing of businesses mm-hmm. is, is profits. When they realize that there are a lot of profits in this area. There are a lot of, and when there are huge profits, that means there are a lot of people, mm-hmm. you know, like patronizing, patronizing the business. Yeah. So first of all, now you have you have you have given them licenses. You said influencers should not uh, uh, um, do marketing for them or mm-hmm. be ambassadors or. But yet still, the numbers in that business are increasing. Mm-hmm. So what are you controlling? You are not controlling anything. So why don't you allow people to do their business with 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 these companies? You said alcoholic beverages. These musicians, one of the places that they cash out is from events. Mm-hmm. When we go to events, we all know what happens over there. Yes, we event promoters control, you know, under 18 and mm-hmm. all of these things. But yet, the number of crowd that comes there, they, they, they drink. So what are you controlling? I don't know what you are trying to stop. I don't know what they are trying to do. Like, they will take their money mm-hmm. and get paid from government coffers. And then when the, the, the business gets into the public, then they start to take food from people's mouth. It, it, like, it does not make sense at all. So it really affects the youth, yeah? Yes. Me, I, well, I, I have I, I've been saying something. One of the main reasons why Africans, we are poor, is how we have limited ourselves to just some small things. Mm. We, 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 we are easily to, to put embargo or ban or mm. St- mm. On, on things. So be on penal WhatsApp. Aha, but I can hear be more. I can somebody now. Somebody will get a work to do or some money from even just a betting company coming down to say, okay, I want to use when they say as my ambassador. Maybe that contract will can come through Chamo. Mm-hmm. It can come through Roland. When when they say signs the contract, Roland will get money, mm-hmm. and he will be comfortable. He will say, okay, at least Omani Mwai is a crowd now. Another yeah. person can come. Or maybe he can even lobby for another artist and say that okay, Charlie, you can also use this artist. He's also he has a lot of engagement or crowd following him. So use him as an then he will take his that is that is employment for somebody. Now you have cancelled that employment, that mm-hmm. job. You have cancelled it. Already you have high rate of unemployment in the system already. Mm-hmm. Then the small, small ones that people will do pa, 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 and will be almost the cushion on morning. So yeah. you are just closing the doors when even the doors that you are closing doesn't even make you achieve any positive thing yeah mm-hmm. like there's no results hmm. zero results with the alcohol thing are we not still drinking you are drinking, you are drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no you are you are <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm with you on this. Uh, we are drinking uh, yes, you, are. Uh, you understand <laughs> With the betting thing, people are still playing. In fact, I today, to ask that question. With the betting thing, see, let me tell you something. No, today, no, when no, you no, get no. on the street, in that contest, are we not drinking? The betting thing, the fashion. Oh, we are betting. Okay, are we not betting? When you go on the streets right now, the youth will tell you that. In fact, the, the way they are suffering, one of the mm-hmm. ways that gives them hope or makes them feel like oh, they can get an amount of money be at the time. It's the betting. This one, this Chabu, is it true? Chabu is not with you. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, how, they the, that's how they it, think. It, it's I'm not, not saying whether that it is true, true or, or not. Uh-huh. But, but that is the motivation they get yeah. in playing it. Yeah. They will wake up and feel like, okay, and then we get a 10 CD side them. I'm going to have 5 CD in trap. But, hey, be a na. Na, me, I have done a 5. Yes, just yesterday, we are seeing on social media, somebody have used 8 CDs to, to win 1.2. Two billion. That's hundred and twenty million Ghana cities. Hundred and twenty thousand. Hundred and twenty thousand Ghana cities. Eight cities. Yes. So you see that boy. That one. The tax. The tax. That. They are going to. I'm not even talking about that. See, you see that though. They will take the tax. The 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 thing is. The thing is, you see that young boy. If assuming he has just twenty cities on him, he will say, "Oh, uh, let me buy Kinky and then leave the eight cities to go and play and see if I will win something." That is how the youth are thinking Mm. now. That is how they are thinking now. So what are you control? What? What what how does the celebrity or the musician or the boxer or the footballers uh, 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 
not being ambassadors for for betting companies or alcohol, mm-hmm. how does that impact what the numbers that we are seeing now? It doesn't. It doesn't in any way or any form. Go ahead and ask this. Uh, every every uh, at least every month from January to December, people introduce new alcoholic beverage. Oh yes. Fingers one wine bitters, cocoa mana wana bitters. <laughs> Oh, it's alcohol. <laughs> you think they are if they are not making profits, they will, they will be introducing uh, brands like that. Day in day out, we see people introducing brands. Like every blessed day, we see these things. Go this to the offensive. Rejected and approved by the FDA. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's it's just like it's, when you think about it, then it's it's just so sad. Mm. And I mean, I wish that it is not too late. Though. It is never too late. I wish our musicians would listen to some of these things and mm. they will mobilize themselves to fight some of these uh, decisions that mm. come from our authorities. Mm. It mm. doesn't make sense. And we will continue to say, in fact, if you want to control your youth from betting, don't give the license at all. Mm. Don't bring it. Don't me. don't do it. I can give you a license to like <laughs> almost every bet company. To do come and do what? Every betting company. Right now in Ghana, you can count more than 20 betting companies. Mm. 20, more than 20. Can you see Bedu? Yeah. Oh, you can count more than 20. And they all have like gaming commission. And then now, they are even introducing different types of lotteries. Mm. Yeah. Different types. Yeah. Are they not using uh, uh, Calibos? Mm-hmm. For national lotteries, mm-hmm. yeah. Jessica Williams. That is that is a question I wanted. Like to ask. when you when you think about it, you are like, me 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 Thomas. Like me, I don't know. Like one day I want to. I w- uh, the one person want me there. You see, if open say open say I'm on board bet, I jai bet. And as open say I'm on mono monsa jai. This is not one of the ways. Okay. Then the best way to do is to try to do an asset mm. and yes, it will be trust. Okay. All right. Reagan is that only the the real cancer passion is what say both ways you know, are affecting the power. Alright, so you and Tosso, uh, Roland. <laughs> go go on, Roland with you. Okay, mm. so um I think George Quay, yes, um, out of his frustration is mm. what is making him speak like this. Mm. Because when you find yourself especially chasing chasing for some of these things, and mm. of course, um, you realize that these are things that you could have avoided. Mm. Uh, like, these are things that you could have gotten easily. Mm-hmm. Definitely, you won't, you, won't, you won't be able to, uh, how do you call it? stand still or mm-hmm. you won't be able to be at peace especially when you know oh um these are companies that we would have easily come on board to help our sector or our company but then but but then so when it is about somebody whose understanding is not about your game definitely you can't you can't there's nothing you can do when you realize that okay whatever is preventing you from getting some mm-hmm. of these deals is because somebody doesn't understand how you operate then it sometimes it becomes frustrating mm-hmm. and you see his his frustration is also born out of the fact that it has always been individual fight individual fight mm-hmm. there is never a collective fight there has never been a collective fight you see, when Reagan was talking, he said, oh, he should have, he should have uh, exempted Wendy Shea. Mm-hmm. Same way, Shatawale has also come out to say this. Sir, Akwadi Adams, even Stoneboy Adams, all of them have come out to, to condemn mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. But it has always been an individual fight. There has never been a collective fight mm-hmm. against some of these things. And you see, it is also bo- boiling down to understanding of how some of the communiques that they put out. You see, sometimes eh, it is very funny. Mm-hmm. that um, they tell you, oh, celebrities are not supposed to do this, celebrities are not supposed to do that. One, when you take it literal, then it will happen like that for you. Mm. I believe mm. as an industry, we've, we've also done ourselves a great disservice because whatever communicate that these people put out, we don't challenge it. We don't, we, we, it is not even about challenging wrongly, but we don't ask questions. Yeah. Mr. Easy is a celebrity. 
Mr. Izzy is a musician and he has a he has a betting company mm -hmm. that is sponsoring a whole league. And you want to tell me that he should not advertise for his company to get money? Hey, <laughs> they dream it exactly. <laughs> Look, a musician lives here, goes to stay abroad, is able to but ra is able to uh, how do you call it? Run ads for certain companies, and mm -hmm. they are being played here. Mm -hmm. You say uh, celebrity should not engage in betting advertisement. Mm -hmm. As it stands, Michael is an ambassador for Sporty Bet, yeah. mm -hmm. which is being the advert is being aired here mm -hmm. in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The adverts are being aired here in Ghana. And to say, okay, who now okay, almost my and almost my and yet, but almost my and you we as a people have also not asked or even challenged the whole community on the buy. I'm casting me and yes, we are dear to me, sir. Maybe they might consider Michael is because he's not staying here. And then he makes it weak. It mm. makes it weak because Michael Essien has not denounced his Ghanaian citizenship. Mm -hmm. He's still a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. You are a Ghanaian wherever you are. So by who cast Michael Essien di bonyanka yebeka se mwaini. It is still it is still a, he is still a Ghanaian. Whatever he does will be attributed to Ghana. Yeah, you understand. So if Ghanaians living in Ghana cannot do this, then definitely some of these things. Should should be looked at, and I I believe that if if celebrities or influential people in this country are are hungry and angry, they should rise up and collectively find a way. I know it will not take all of them to do it, but I tell you, even if a handful are able to collectively go and seek redress, go and seek explanation in some of these communiques. They will be able to know that, Charlie, it is not what we are even imagining. Mm -hmm. Or it is not what we are even assuming. It is not what, because see, okay, they are saying influential people. They are saying celebrities. Go and ask them, who qualifies to be a celebrity? Mm -hmm. Who qualifies to be a celebrity? Who qualifies to be an influential person? Because see, if, if it is about following, mm -hmm. there are people who are not as popular as Tomboy who are not as popular as Shatawali, who are not as popular as uh, Sark or the mm -hmm. but go and check their numbers. Yeah. So do those people also qualify to be a celebrity? You understand? Do those people also qualify to be influential people? Because at the end of the day, whoever, whatever they are advertising for is going because they also have following. You get it? I see. So if we are not able to seek some of all or some of these explanations as far as these communiques are concerned, we will continue to live in our imaginations and cry. Mm, mm, mm. Call any, even George Quay, call him and ask him. When they said celebrities, did he even come out to ask who a celebrity is? He will mm. tell you no. But he is here blaming musicians. He's also a stakeholder in the industry. Mm -hmm. You are also a stakeholder. It is not about musicians alone. Mm -hmm. And they mentioned the categories. I mean, no, but it, it has nothing to do with. Only the creatives at the forefront. Mm -hmm. In fact, so you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can put your, come put your, come your last cry in this engine. Mm -hmm. And come your last so. because whoever would want to, whoever would go to the table to go and speak on their behalf, talk on their behalf, should be us, which he is part. Mm -hmm. You understand? Should have been yeah, na yeah, executives na yeah, we chain na him so okay. We can rather have this because somewhere, um, what the, their main focus is to produce the content that mm. the people are enjoying. But sometimes, when in, in some of these situations, you have to be seen at the forefront. Oh, no, no, yeah. I'm saying that. You see, that's you don't have to fight for them. No, 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 I'm no, not but saying the question is The question is if they should go no, and then fight, I'm what saying, will they gain? Reagan, I'm not yeah. saying, I'm not saying, I mean, the stakeholders that we're talking about, like, they should Reagan, be at the no, no, some of them, I'll be some of them work like in the hand. Uh, so, uh, definitely, uh, somebody like. George, George Quay can also get a deal through a musician's mm. deal with a mm. betting company yeah. or an alcoholic ah, beverage. Yeah. So it works like that. But what I'm saying is that in some of these situations, the musician have to be at the front. Mm -hmm. Maybe we, 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 the stakeholders or the people Roland is talking mm. about can't just be behind them and be and supporting them. them. Yeah. You understand? But if you don't take charge, everybody will sleep on mm. the thing. Mm. And I think that is where George is coming from. Yeah. They themselves are like... They are not proactive. Ex exa yeah. Exactly. It is a who call executive now. Who call now? Quite to say you are crying more than the beer. Yeah. You understand? That's what I'm saying. But still, 
the whole charge, the whole communique would have to start from somewhere. And when you now a problem has been has been identified, said so these people are not angry enough. These people not do not seem to be hungry enough. Mm -hmm. So in say you understand because at the end of the day, whatever affects them comes back to affect us. Okay. So if we don't rise up to into someone's okay, ah, manager of your friend say rough town recorder is collaborating with let's say SAC, SM, why why and these are executives behind these artists. No more cash or more car letter to go and seek redress and explanation to some of these things. You think the musicians will sit down and watch some managers now and executives in Kwango? No, they will not. It will be a sense of awakening. So, yeah, no more, no more, yeah. It is about time we that we are also at the back end. I yeah, no more for no more forefront. We can collectively also start something and almost have a teacher. And I think that is what George Kui is trying to do now, trying to just make a wake up call. For all these things, and it's quite unfortunate this that is happening in Ghana here, where we, we, I mean, they drink a lot, uh, bet a lot, but yet they go out there and then make sure the celebrities to other countries come and then do the advertisements for us. How do our artists or celebrities also chop? This and many more we want to um, discuss and see what's going to happen next we want to move to our next story where <clears throat> sorry um an interview section with Thurry bone chaka if you know him you know him to be one of the baddest you know mcs uh in the country ghana Thurry bone chaka he's done a lot and um he's no more with us but then the mom is here and um you know some few questions were popped out and the reply that she gave especially with the part that shatter's father um, went to visit her and then you know give her something through Shatawale and it's it's all beautiful she's really been getting support from you know other celebrities and stuff like that and she's really really appreciative and this coming December they are up on I'm um, organizing a show. <laughs> but uh, Richie let's let's watch the video I mean let's listen to the video first when we come back uh, we we will just go into this proper proper yeah Yes. Please, have you done that for me? Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I'm getting some feedback. No, sir. Yes. Please, have you done that for me? Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I was asking how, how are things for you? How are you managing? Mm. Um, I'm managing well. Mm. Some people have been helping me. Hmm. Or do you want me to call them? Oh, I mean, I mean, sometimes it, it, it's okay if you. But I mean, we, I heard something about uh, there's a there was a story about how Shatawale and um, I think Kina Yusuba who said they've been supporting oh. you. Have they been supporting you, money something wise? Yes, Shatawale even sent his father to you. Okay, so he's yeah. been supporting you with some money. And who? Santana. Abeku Santana. No, no, no. Who? Shatana. 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 And the yes. brother. Okay, okay. Only ones. All right. So Shatana and the brother have been there to support you, and then Shatawali himself. Yes. Okay, so but he even sent the father to my house to give me something. But have you seen Shatawali himself? Yes. Okay. Yes, I've been seeing him, but for some time now, I haven't seen him. For some time now, you haven't seen he him. Said he is trying to come here and he couldn't make it so he sent his father mm. to come and give me something so with shatawali i don't have a problem with him he's okay with me okay okay well um i mean now that you you are aware of this um initiative that um um i mean um sir is putting out here for you he said it's in december so on sunday you're going to say some prayers for your late son right yeah mm. But ma'am, if I'm to ask, uh, pardon me, but do you think your son has been celebrated well enough? Yes, his friends have been doing it. Mm. And I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. I thank them all. I'm appreciative. I do appreciate what they've been doing. Because every year, they've been coming out with something. Not that they have money, but I, I even don't have money to give them. 
but they try to. They appreciate Terry, so they do it every year. And I'm happy with that. Well, I mean, th- this sounds good and refreshing to hear. If uh, some of the friends have been visiting you up till date, uh, sounds. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghana lady, no, but no. Sharing and telling in here, ma. So what is that? You know, he's the one behind it. And uh, Terry Bunchaka, may your soul still rest in perfect peace. And uh, the mom sounds like she's not too well. Nah, why, 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 why they didn't say anything like that so we just have to take it that okay she's yeah, okay. I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, yeah. I feel i feel okay so there is a story cited me there we are okay yeah all right no problem 20th anniversary of terry bonchaka's person to be commemorated with look-alike contest wow as part of plans to have a touching tribute to the late musician terry bonchaka whose 20th death anniversary is fast approaching, a special event has been announced. Fellas Arjun Davids, the newly appointed executive producer by Terry Bunchaka's mother, Madam Charlotte Ajiti, has unveiled a heartwarming... Come again. Oh, continue, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, executive producer. Okay. Fellas Arjun Davids, the newly appointed executive producer by Terry Bunchaka's mother, Madam Charlotte Ajiti, has unveiled a heartwarming initiative to celebrate the artist's memory mr arjun david started on a mistake shared on hits fm that they are organizing a terry bonchaka lookalike contest uh, set to take place this december the unique competition will identify seven talent um, seven talented individuals who not only dress like the late musician but also sing like him the grand prize for the winner is extraordinary opportunity to record some of Terry Mujaka's unreleased songs. The contest is intended to be to become an annual event, keeping the artist's legacy alive and vibrant. Arjun David emphasized that his personal uh, interest lies not in the financial aspect of the event, but in ensuring a better quality uh, of life for Terry Mujaka's aging and unwell mother. Uh -huh. And unwell mother, Madam Charlotte, so and unwell, <laughs> Madam Charlotte. He, he has no interest. Yeah, okay. I know the person who used to I could see a wage. All right. So he also mentioned that he had made significant decisions to um, exclude certain individuals from the event, including Reagan Mens. Okay, the former manager of the late musician. This choice was driven by Reagan Men's previous public pronouncements regarding uh, pro, uh, pre nominations. Oh, sorry, uh, pre monitions. Okay, pre monitions. Um, he claimed to have um, had before Terry Bojaga's untimely demise. Okay, such statements, Agent Davis argued, could raise questions in um, other jurisdictions. Other jurisdictions. Let's end it there. Chamo. Yeah. Do you want to use a Kusi Abuaje's statement, Nana? But then before, that, before, oh, before, I, before I, the I, whole thing. Uh, Richie, Richie, bring it back again. I want to read. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Before the whole thing. Yeah. This thing that they are doing to keep the legacy one mm. of the late Terry Bonchaka. Yeah. Do you? How do you see? It? Don't you see? You say it's one yeah. Of you see, uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but mm. sometimes people can identify a problem and give wrong solutions. Mm -hmm. And and I I I can see similarities or I can see that thing here. Like mm -hmm. you want to keep his legacy. I mean, it's true, but mm. I I really have doubt whether the approach that they are using or they are going to use will work. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if he has songs there that you think they are good songs, you can give it to anybody to sing. Anyone that is good enough. Not yeah. anybody. I mean, anybody who is good to sing without dressing like him or acting like him. You don't need that. We but are in different maybe era. Just to keep the legacy, we want to still... The legacy will mm. be that it's Terry Bunchaka's song that the person is singing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's enough to, to recognize him, to still have him in memories. What of those who are the not, dressing who like him? There? To see who Terry Mochaga is, they, they, they can they find see out. him dress up like that. Oh, 
Oh, this is how Terry Bonchaka look like. Okay, then let me go with check out. They can find out. Uh, Terry Bonchaka's videos mm -hmm. are on the internet. Mm -hmm. His images are on the internet. You don't need somebody to act like him for people to know how he looks like or how he was acting. Mm. There are a lot of information available for people to get those things. Mm -hmm. If you limit it to people who can act like him or dress like him or sing like him, mm -hmm. you you'll be rather spoiling the legacy or you you'll be rather limiting the good people or uh, the right people who can keep the legacy the way you want to keep it. And how is that, if I should ask? Because if, if the, we have a good singer or a, a talented musician, a performer somewhere who can sing and say that, okay, I got this song from Telly Bunchaka's own release song, mm -hmm. and it, that song is a hit song. It's better, it's far, far better to keep his legacy than somebody who is acting like him. In fact, if somebody is acting like him, singing like him, that person is a mediocre. I mean, that's an average that you can get. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, somebody can take whatever that he has done and even make it better, mm -hmm. but still recognize him. And a typical example is uh, uh, this guy, um, Michael Jackson's We Are The World. Yeah. I mean, uh, with other musicians. Mm -hmm. We know how they, they, they went about it, Jimmy Fox and yeah. his crew. Yeah. They did one fantastic uh, mm -hmm. remix of the song. Mm -hmm. And they were not acting, nobody was acting like uh, uh, Michael Jackson in mm -hmm. there or the, the people who did a uh, song like that. Mm -hmm. They got some to come around and new ones also came in. Mm -hmm. And they all did their whole thing, but they will still attribute or dedicate the song to Michael Jackson's memories. But this one, maybe it was a collaboration. And apart from that, maybe that was their approach. Yes, and it's far, far better than getting somebody who acts like him. That's the point I'm making. Okay. Because if somebody's uh, acting like him, singing like him, and doing his thing, uh, I, I will not respect that person's craft more than Terry Bunchaka. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, you are just imitating somebody who is mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. So what, 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 what should I do for you? Or mm -hmm. what do you think, uh, how do you think I should receive you if you are acting like uh, somebody who is dead? Mm -hmm. I'm only trying to um, side with you on maybe let's say someone who has big body who is giant mm -hmm. has the voice like terry bonchaka that person is not qualified to be a part of their contest that they are trying to come up with because that person needs to look like terry bonchaka obviously and then sing like but maybe the person can sing like him but can't dress or look like terry bonchaka means he's disqualified yes. automatically yes. that's where maybe outside with and i'm saying that that's why i'm saying that they may be uh, they, they have identified something important or something that mm. useful that we can all say oh why not terry bunchaka he did something great so there's nothing <laughs> wrong to mm -hmm. to keep his legacy or something like that mm -hmm. but the approach that he's using mm. for me it will not work and uh, in fact again the last part of the article that you read mm -hmm. you see he's even excluding some people mm -hmm. now yeah. he is now <laughs> mm -hmm. before you start something like this you are even excluding some people who mm -hmm. worked with him. Instead of you finding a way to, maybe even if there are issues, resolve that issue, mm -hmm. bring people on board, so to get the best out of whatever that you are looking for, mm -hmm. you have started fighting without even starting your project. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it will not end well, especially when he says that there, there's no need for... Uh, uh, he doesn't have any need for financial gain or yeah. something. That's a red flag for me. Okay. If you, if you don't have uh, any focus on that thing, it, it means whether it will work or not, you, you may not care that much mm -hmm. because you have nothing to lose uh, 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 when the project come on board. If you know you have something to lose, like you want to make money from this thing, mm -hmm. you put your all in and get the best out of it. Yeah. But if you say, oh, me... Uh, there's nothing in this thing for me. I just want to help his legacy and his mother. Mm -hmm. Then whatever you have, just give it to the mother. There's no need for whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Because what you are coming to do will involve a lot of money. Mm -hmm. you, you you incur some expenses mm -hmm. as an executive producer. But you, you, <laughs> you are not going to get anything from it. Mm -hmm. 
come on. Maybe it, they, are, they are ready. They are ready for that. It it, it doesn't sound well. But those who go that direction mostly. It will not end well because if somebody insults you small, you leave mm. it because after all, wow. me, me, I, I, I'm not getting mm. anything from it. Mm. So a little frustration, he will give up. Mm. So me, for for people who say something like that, I, I don't trust them to handle a project like this. He can do a charity work, help people, uh, give them something, but a project like this cannot go the direction that as an executive tr producer he wants to go so so me well it's it's a good idea but i doubt if it will work out well uh, the way that he wants it because i don't see his approach as a workable one or a good one that will help to keep the legacy that he claims he wants to keep okay all right that is chamo let's listen to the narrator now do you hear the the fact that the mom is really appreciative of how some of the celebrities, you know, gift her, give her, take good care of her, and other stuff. Even by mentioning names in there, do uh, you think that the, the, she, she deserves more than that? I mean, it's, it's okay if people are willingly supporting her. Like, no one is under any obligation to, mm. to support the late Terry Bonchaka's mom, but... It is just nine and more right for mm. people or celebrities who see the need to do it to mm. just do such gestures and it's it's okay it ends there. As on me, I don't like it when people put pressure on other celebrities just because they all belong to the same space mm. and they put pressure on them just to take some of these responsibilities. I yeah. mean, it doesn't work for me. <coughs> But with the whole idea, it sounds convincing, mm -hmm. but the execution from the way they are putting out their statements mm -hmm. or announcing the whole project doesn't look like it will work. Okay. First of all, the pricing. Mm -hmm. If you want to want to uh, um, um, celebrate Telibu and Chaka's legacy and hopes that the legacy will live forever. Mm -hmm. You say you want to do what? Like, you you give people who will come out successful mm -hmm. from such contest. Yeah. You give them the unreleased, the unreleased songs. songs from mm -hmm. Terrible and Chaka. I mean, it is, it, the fact that it's, it, it wasn't released doesn't mean it's not Terrible and Chaka's work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is work. So, if you are giving it to somebody to go and work on it and then, uh, uh, like, if you are giving somebody to go and work, pre record it, or maybe mix it mm. and add his voice to it, or put verses in it, mm. then you need to tell us about how you are going to distribute mechanical right, which right goes to the mom, which right goes to the person. And first of all, the person that is coming to act like Terrible and Chaka, what is the lifespan of that person? Mm -hmm. If you are giving him Terrible and Chaka's songs to release, if you release the first album, the next album, what contract, what agreement are you going to have with the person? That every song that he will release, after releasing all Terrible in Chakra's work, you still have a percentage in there or what? Mm -hmm. Because there can be that future argument that, oh, we even gave you the opportunity by making you release Terrible in Chakra's works and through that you got a hit and now you become a household. Now, knowing Ghanaians very well, they will be expecting everyday royalties from you. So I'm sure so they will be demanding every so so that person passes on. Mm. They will be demanding such monies from you. But I'm sure they, they've they've sat down and they they've drawn. I mean, I've all not those seen things. it. I'm talking about what I have not seen, and I'm just pointing mm. out some of the 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 things that mm. doesn't make some of these projects work. Mm. I have seen a lot of uh, uh, um, families. Or of of late celebrities mm -hmm. that are trying to keep the legacies of their their sons mm -hmm. or, or relatives the, mm -hmm. and all of that, but they should they should they should do some of these things right. They really have to sit down and plan the thing right, like structure things properly mm -hmm. and do things right. They don't just have to because you want to celebrate his legacy like every year or you just put. I mean. Like Chemo was saying, look at the last paragraph of mm -hmm. the whole story. Mm -hmm. There are even internal problems. Problems there. So why don't you resolve that first? Mm. 
Mm. Why don't you sit down and resolve that? And I'm not saying work with everybody that mm -hmm. Terry Wanjaka work with, but resolve that because these people that you are trying to exempt or exclude from whatever thing, what if they become forces to oppose what you are what trying you want to, do? to do? It will make it very challenging for you. Mm. You understand? So resolve that first and then look at what prizes you want to give. Mm -hmm. The people that you, are, you want them to come and imitate Terry Bonchaka, they will not imitate or be like the look alike of Terry Bonchaka forever. Mm -hmm. They will not be singing like Terry Bonchaka forever, whether you like it or not. They will definitely switch. They will switch. Mm. The moment they see fame, they will switch. Mm -hmm. So at that point, have you thought of how you can benefit from them? And the songs that you are giving to them, you need to state and tell us that, okay, the Terry Bonchaka songs that we are giving to them, the person that is going to release those songs is taking let's say 40 percent out of whatever revenue the songs makes mm -hmm. the mom is taking this percentage mm -hmm. to take care of his foundations to take care of let's say his activities that they want to put in place for him mm -hmm. so that every day people can uh, like have an idea or 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 think that there is something being celebrated yeah. around uh, the late Terry Wonchaka and all of that. Yeah. You are not doing any of this. So if you are not doing that, or no, you're, you're not telling us that you've just made a public statement that mm -hmm. you want to do this and then that the seven, uh, is it seven winners? Is it the Yes, seven, seven, seven contestants. Okay. Yeah. And the, the winner will just the winner have that. Will just have yeah. that. By where is seven wow. contestants? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know why they limited the whole thing to seven contestants. Why seven contestants? No, that, you see, maybe the, the, they've, they've, they've seen the money that they want to put inside and it will, maybe it will suit just seven. seven people, not exceedingly. So, so if you don't have the money, why are you even you forcing yourself in the first place? Because he doesn't, want, want, to them, he want, he doesn't mean, want to use I mean, I mean, let's not forget that. It's out. Let's not forget that. Be part. <laughs> some of these things, eh, if you want to celebrate somebody like the, the late Terry Bonchaka. Mm. You shouldn't do mediocre things. Saying that you don't have enough money, so you are limiting the whole thing to seven people. Mm. Like, like how? It should be, it should be big that, like, the person that has even passed away, if, if spirits have a word like we mm. are, we, we always say, if he is in that word, he will see it and will rejoice. He will be happy wherever he is. But I'm sure in, in the, from the beginning, they are going to do something like auditioning. And they will bring seven people out for the final, but for the con day. final uh -huh. contestant. So, fine. So, on the final day, the, the, that, then she shouldn't have even stated that, that this wasn't even necessary for him to say that mm. you are picking seven people. It wasn't necessary. Because when you do the auditioning, you decide which number you Ooh. want them to go mm. to the finals. Mm. Mm. You understand? You can mm. even say four, four will go to the finals. Mm. So this was even not necessary to me. So okay. they should plan the thing where it doesn't look easy like the way they are putting it. Mm. Because there are a lot of technicalities in there, especially mm -hmm. with royalties. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, whoever that is going to reproduce the songs or touch it or mix it are all going to sh have a share of the cake. Mm -hmm. So they should make us understand, like putting it out there, like, like that. Come on, they, me, I don't see, I don't see the the uh, uh, how successful it's going to be with this statement. Okay. They should have really break things down and let us know that we are going. We've we've already made provisions for A. We've done mm. this. We've done mm. that. We've done this. We we have resolved all our internal issues, and that everybody's hands is on deck to to help push this agenda and it would have been very very nice internal issues new can new law he's now, and and and, and one one last thing that mm. i would say is even releasing the song giving the song to let's say chemo mm -hmm. or roland to to go as as price to go and re release it mm. if roland had just a single verse to it it's mm -hmm. going to have a share so why can't you also mix the song like the producer mm -hmm. Why can't he also retouch the songs and release them in the name of Terry Bonchaka? Mm. Just as Tupac and Michael Jackson have all been enjoying. Mm. Like they can release their works and they will just put it on the digital platform and people will stream and the revenue will go to whoever deserves it. Mm. Mm. Why do you have to give it out for somebody to come and have a share of it? Or like, I don't know. Okay, all right. So that's Nana Reagan. Roland. Very. Mm. Take it from there. This is a cake thinking. This is what? A cake thinking. 
Okay. 1957, 1984 thinking. Mm. That's 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 what it is. No cap. It's, this is archaic thinking. Why, why fact, would you say that? In in modern day and age, if you if it is royalties that you want, if it is royalties that you want the people to benefit, mm -hmm. or let's say, okay, like he's saying, it is not about the fact that oh he wants to he wants to make some money be. Mm. But it is about the fact that he wants to keep terrible Chaka's legacy. Mm -hmm. There are better ways of doing it. Ah, show us. Bossu, you say they are unreleased songs. Mm -hmm. To date, Michael Jackson is still releasing songs. Mm -hmm. To date, Bob Marley is still releasing. In fact, Bob Marley is doing rem uh, features. <laughs> it's not about just releases. So he's doing features, mm. and you think you holding a contest with people coming to portray to her, act like act like the person is what is what is what is going to keep his legacy mm -hmm. oh come on see don't he shouldn't create an avenue for people to come and disrespect the legacy of terrible chaga he shouldn't create an an avenue for people to come and disrespect the legacy of terrible chaga Cry. maybe this year if he's able to do it they will they will be able to get some frenzy some buzz out of it but i i tell you there's no sustenance plan for this mm -hmm. why don't you create the guitar platforms for the person and make sure you release all these things that is that is what is going to give mm -hmm. it a little substance that is what is going to give it some form of seriousness because the people that you want you want to give these songs to them charlie I me mean, this this particular thing i'm seeing the second star boy quarting case mm -hmm. <laughs> Star boy quite a bunny case. That's what I'm seeing. Tomorrow he will come after spending all the thousands of CDs mm -hmm. or the millions on this particular project. He will come and say, "Oh, then the ender guy that we gave the thing guy is ungrateful. When mm -hmm. he had fame, he's now getting money, mm -hmm. and he's even neglected terrible in Chaka's mother." That's what he will come and say. No, but then if they put things in, I mean, it right, matter. Yeah, they will not right. put anything in anywhere. They will not put anything <laughs> anywhere. Where how they started? Already, <laughs> the person that worked with the person you are trying to protect his legacy, which is the former manager, mm. you have Excluded. first your first punch is to exclude him, <laughs> and it is not based on the fact that he is telling you that mm. oh, he uh, he's he's giving you a different option. It is because of premonitions that he said he had mm -hmm. before the demise of Terrible Jack. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? And you want to base your your ah Charlie. He that he simply doesn't understand how this industry works. That's mm -hmm. what I would say. For real. He simply doesn't understand. In fact, even if even if he's been in this industry, mm -hmm. he is still not abreast with current ways of doing things. If not, you see, if he wants to exclude regaments from this, it's nobody will fight him. It is mm -hmm. his right. He has every right to do it mm -hmm. if he has the power. No, see, in fact, nobody will come and fight for Reagan self mm -hmm. if he wants to there see he should just create the guitar platforms release this so he will not need regaments for anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's no need for you to come and say this or in the public you've excluded him so mm -hmm. like how that the, that's the, the question i want even wanted to ask is this terrible in chaka songs that he's talking about unreleased one mm -hmm. somewhere 2023 mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. Those days, the songs oh, and then see, now, is it going to songs, even work like songs, that? Or certain songs are timeless, okay? Mm -hmm. And depending on how you do it or the manner in which you do it, see, it is not by accident or it is not just case play that Bob Marley's estates mm -hmm. are doing, allowing renditions and um, collaborations to some of his songs. So. Mm -hmm. It is not by accident. So. They knew what the end result would be mm -hmm. and they know how big that particular record is you understand so yes but many songs were released years back mm -hmm. but they are still being played it is about the message if there's those songs have good messages just feature another person on it keke if you think that is what will give you a challenge say be a nyumno ayedada and you think releasing them at this time is going to be difficult just find somebody who probably if that is how you you keep a legacy that is how you keep a legacy because the people that you are going to bring them, excuse me to say, they are unknown. Mm. Mm. And like, if give it to Satawali, give it to Sakonde, exactly. give it to like to just keep the legacy. That is what will keep by, a legacy. By 
to give it to mediocre imitators. What can they do? Maybe, I don't know if you guys have seen um, Kojo Kin have this bro, one guy bro, looks like bro. Terry Bonchak. I was about see, even asking, do you think bro, uh, that the they have that started inspiration from that? The guy started imitating Terry Bonchak and not today. Mm -hmm. Unless you don't know him, unless you are now seeing him for for in in few times, the guy started imitating Terry. The Terry Bon Chaka imitation didn't start today. No, I know there are a, lot a of people year in... after his demise was mm. when even right after his demise was when people started imitating mm. him here and there. And how was the sustenance? Mm -hmm. Have people been able to sustain it? All those who were even successful. That were even recognized by the public. Hey, mm. we just said no, you be to say no, no. Those people were doing music. Maybe those days you know, we didn't have the the look alike thing like Bro, now we have it. That was even when they would have <laughs> even been able to succeed crying. No, what I mean is once you see look alike thing has uh, become a trend. It has not become anything. It has not become anything. Bruh, the, with this one, it will bossu, be, bossu, it will bossu, be. Bossu, bossu. You can debate it. You can debate it. But in this particular contest, it will not work. What I'm saying is, you are uh, saying that before, uh, no, they, they were... Oh, I mean, I mean, sometimes it, it, it's okay if you. But I mean, we, I heard something about uh, there's a there was a story about how Shatawali and um, I think Kina Yusuba who said they've been supporting oh. you. Have they been supporting you, money, something wise? Yes, Shatawali even sent his father to you. Okay, so he's yeah. been supporting you with some money. And who? Santana. Abeku Santana. No, no, no. Shut up. That is bad. You can't still be like the original. Mm -hmm. You understand? In this particular contest of... You see, it is just like somebody coming to say, Oh, MC Berima has traveled. And we want you to come and do what MC Berima is doing. Pe -pe -pe. You sitting in for some reflex. Somebody comes to tell you, Barry, I want somebody that can do in everything like some reflex. Pe -pe -pe. Mm -hmm. And still get the results. Mind you, it is not about the act too it is the results that we are looking for mm -hmm. so you want somebody to come and imitate terrible chaka and get what results the same result legacy it's a joke it's a joke it's from a the start joke. it is a pure joke from the that, start that's what we call mediocrity it is a pure Be joke from the start average. okay you want somebody to come and imitate terrible chaka and what is the end result that that is what you think people it would make like will keep him in people's mind no mm -hmm. i beg to differ they should go back to the table if if they think this is the only idea they have mm -hmm. they should open it up invite more people to come and bring more ideas as to how mm -hmm. they can keep the legacy but this particular one who they can hold the concept in his name mm -hmm. but a contest no Okay, so this is what the gentlemen have to say about this very topic too. You being a part of it, what do you have to say about it? Is it okay they do it and uh, just to keep the legacy as they call it of Terry Bonchaka, I mean the late Terry Bonchaka. Away from Terry Bonchaka's story, we want to move straight to Efia Schwarzenegger's camp. Yes, the female version of uh, someone who say Shatawali. Yes, uh, super great woman also be canadian i know canadian actually whether um it is respectful or not he she says it and she says it the way she wants it now she's come at you know the executive club the legon executive club consisting of you know this kwame despite father Desen, uh and there's for upon and you know the gurus mc berima and nana reagan them small crazy like that you know? She's really come at them. Temu. Yeah. She's really come at them. Why? Because some few situations has been, I mean, have been happening um, in the voter part, I mean, the uh, voter region area where the people of Mepe are finding it difficulties. Why? Because they are causing both damn um, spillage. It has really, really caught up with them and it's really affecting them in so many ways. And Efia Schwarzenegger has expressed his concern, saying that 
um, challenging, uh, she's challenging the East Legon Club to match or double Ibrahim Mahama's donation. Why? Because Ibrahim Mahama, the brother to um, former president uh, Mahama, <laughs> has done it. So she's throwing challenge to them. A fierce was nigger has dared the East Legon executive club members to donate double um, the items presented by Ibrahim Mahama to the people of Mepe following the Akosum Books Dam spillage. She said the whole of Ghana bears witness to the fact that the people, uh, the popular businessmen, I mean businessmen, sent cargo trucks filled with relief, uh, relief items to Mepe, but nothing has been heard from the East Legon Executive Club members who taught themselves as rich men. Sorry. She said it is time to live up to their self-acclaimed wealthy men title, adding that all they do is flaunt luxurious cars and uh, bath each other with water, an act which is termed as disgusting and primitive. East Legon Executive um, Fitness Club, you called yourself rich men. This is the time to show that you are truly rich. Go to Mepe and donate, she said. All you know is to do uh, is to organize big parties, attend funerals, and be ponding yourselves. You don't know how to act. Uh, or you don't know how that act of water ponding disgusts me. Even a poor, <laughs> I read it. <laughs> Even for a poor woman like me, I am usually bad with champagne and not water. Ibrahim Mahama does not belong to any executive club yet. Did you see the trucks full of so? Um, supplies he sent there. I am daring all of you to put your heads together and do more than what Ibrahim Mahama did. We are talking about uh, philanthropy and all you do is to show us cars. What are we using cars for? If you are rich, if you are a rich man, let your money speak in the society. If I were um, dating someone in that crew, I would have broken up with her. <laughs> Who the fuck among <laughs> you have donated i mean uh, okay nobody is criticizing you and that's why you guys are misbehaving she stated on tiktok okay so this is it roland since you're already in the picture um you can just start from here this is what mm. if you're schwarzenegger is calling for um this this uh, this is what somebody say this matter hmm. You see, um, it is funny. Yeah. It is funny because you live in a glass house and you've, you've in fact, you are not throwing stones. Mm -hmm. You've gathered a bunch of stones and you've gathered a bunch of stones and you are, you, you, you've gathered a bunch of stones and you, you want to throw them. That's, that's what, that's what, um, if you're just nigga is doing. Mm -hmm. Because somebody like Fela Makafui mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. went to donate to the people. Also doing some of these gestures. Mm. So he says she should also go and do it. So if we are to use her own words, then she should be able to, in fact, do double, triple, quadruple of what mm. the people are doing. Mm. Because if we are talking about rich men's friend or mm. people in higher places friend in this country, if we, nobody can bypass if you are mm -hmm. If we are talking about somebody who is highly connected, both to almost all the rich men in Ghana. 
you can't take a fiasco as nigger out. So if that is the case, then in fact, the pill that she is throwing at the East Lego Executive Club, she should also look at the pill and swallow one. That, that will be very, very good. And that will be a very, very good test case. I, I was expecting for her to have come out to call them out like that. At least she had also sent a truckload of mm. relief items. Then mm. she can say, oh, maybe when I went there, the situation is worse. The situation mm. is bad. So you, I am even pleading. It is not my fault. Mm -hmm. You are pleading. You are pleading because as far as I'm concerned, it's not this. The only pe the people of Mepe only mm. are the ones in hunger in this country. But their the, the situation is just what's critical. Their situation is critical. What's right? it critical? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like in, in this in this situation that we find What's ourselves right now. Even in this situation, eh? Mm. Not 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 to sound uh, like not to sound disrespectful or unsympathetic. Yeah. But see, they are even better off than some people who ah. No, just so, I mean you pinpoint. Then you talking. Then you tell oh, me. Oh yes. Okay, when you go to North or when you go to Agbogbolushi, these people you find no. the number of this no. one Mepet, the whole of the land of Mepet. Bro, you don't, have to point. Bro, uh -huh. you don't even have to point. <laughs> then see? you don't make a, a no. Case. You see, the, unless you you don't live in this country or mm -hmm. see there are people who are sleeping outside. Mm -hmm. You see the people of Mepet, mm -hmm. they lost their livelihood. Mm -hmm. Somebody has slept outside and died. Mm -hmm. somebody has gone to commit suicide mm -hmm. eh? you see that that person who went and took his or her life mm -hmm. you see the people of Mepe they are better off than those people somebody is living under a roof mm -hmm. I am I am saying something that there are some people not because somebody is sleeping outside meaning that oh maybe the person yes the person's condition might not be good mm -hmm. but see let's not use that to go and insult somebody to forcefully come and do good. See, I saw something. I saw something at um on on TV three this afternoon, eh? and it, it brought so many things into my head. Mm -hmm. Now the Mepe has now become has now become almost like a tourist site. I don't get it. Everybody goes there mm -hmm. and they want to sit in their boat tour around the whole map like go and look at the places that have been affected mm -hmm. like <laughs> how does that if you are there you the people who are in charge of these guys mm -hmm. who are taking the relief items to them mm -hmm. can tell you the situation in fact even when you stand at the uh, um how do you call at the outskirts mm -hmm. you can clearly see that this place is not good yet People come and everybody wants to sit in a boat and go on tour. Mm -hmm. After, before they will come and give these relief items to. And even with the people that these relief items were being given to. Go and see the situation in some of the camps. Fight. Blows. 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 Those people now. Blows. About what? And even in their situation, the uh, the disabled and the people who are not so able mm -hmm. are also being left out, even in that situation. Mm -hmm. So you see, if you call the East Legon Executive Club's people uh, unsympathetic and the fact that they are pe they are people are doing so, they should also go and do mm -hmm. something. You see, even the people of Mepenangkasangkasanimpoa, some of them need help. Even they themselves are mafiaing themselves there. Mm -hmm. You understand so the word has she even went ahead and mentioned uh, you know Agbik Shop, Duncan Williams and this Barry it will be morally right it will be morally right for people to who who are capable mm -hmm. it is not you assuming they are capable people who are capable to help anybody who is down maybe in her, in her situation she she is not Assuming she's assuming. No, you, you call yourself you are rich, and she's just directing. Have you, you seen the spite? Have you seen the spite on any platform saying, saying that I am rich, rich? I am rich. No. <laughs> Have the, you seen that? Even before? the last time that they asked me, he said that he's a chopper, uh, mm. uh, this thing operator. Mm -hmm. Ah, have, have you, you ever seen, seen this? Have you seen the spite in that manner before? No. Exactly. So what are you saying? You are you are you are assuming he's mm. rich. In this luxurious cars and Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Who happens to be 
if not the richest, among one of the richest, even goes to take loan. Or continue yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to take loan. Or continue loan. He goes to take loan. But you, when when you say someone is rich, do you see someone who is rich? Do I see somebody? Yeah, who's well, rich? if the person tells me he's rich, why not? I okay. I will not okay, challenge. So you just go by what you hear. Of course, yes. That but see, not what you see. Very much. Oh, you, you, you can you, you can you can assume, assume that the person's is. richness to some extent mm. and it may be true or it may be false very much you rich well, you go on I, <laughs> it's a simple question no, are you i'm rich? rich i'm rich you see but somebody can I have come life so i'm rich yeah, very using that very to make it. no you wait wait, wait, wait. <laughs> see <laughs> see <laughs> Barry, <laughs> Barry, you see the fact that no, somebody you see the fact that somebody is seeing you on tv yeah can come and <laughs> tell you that oh uh, give them five thousand no it happens right, right it's now. not a fact and when you tell them that you don't have you see the insults that if you ask nigger is raining on the insult that if you ask nigger is mm. raining on this fight that is the same insult they rain on you so mm. if if you ask nigger's insult is not fair then this particular habit is what we should stop okay all right thank you nana regan to us you see if you ask has zero points she is just fighting. She is just fighting her own fight. Like mm. she's just taking advantage of the uh, of the fact that some mm -hmm. people need her and people are donating to them. So let me use that as an opportunity to attack mm. my my. I don't know if I should say enemies or mm. whatever, because I don't know. Maybe the East Legon Executive Club members have cut her off. Maybe they don't involve her in their activities and she sees herself to be part of such mm. you know organization. organization or engagements or mm. groupings or whatever maybe when they are doing parties they don't invite him mm. so she, ha, she feels like they are not counting me as a yeah, member of the rich club mm. and I don't know. She has. She would definitely has her own reasons, personal reasons for, for coming at them. But, I mean, making us feel like this is the main reason they are boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is not the main reason why she is attacking them. Because if this is the main reason, then I can confidently say that she is not making any sense. Okay. Yeah, she's not making any sense. I mean, okay. from any angle you want to look at it from, she's not making sense. Mm. Because there are even people in this country that are richer than the mm. members of East Legon Executive Club. Mm. Or you don't know. Oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah. Sure. There are people who are richer than them. Why is she not mentioning them? You should mention Why is she not mentioning them? Even can, can not Can all the rich people in this country, mm. or even, let me even limit it to Accra, mm -hmm. Can all of them go and donate to Charlie? Let's <laughs> allow people. You see, such guests here saying mm -hmm. it comes, free. it should be willing, willingly like yeah. they should come from within. And say, I'm touched to do this, I'm mm -hmm. touched to do that. Let's not make it look like that. Is why people are doing some of these things for mm. sh just to show even off. some are uh, political moves. You understand? Mm -hmm. They do it for just political, to get moves. political sympathy mm -hmm. for people. Yeah, it's, it's not like straightforward, like mm -hmm. that. so. You should allow them to breathe. They, they, should, they should have their own reasons why they want to go and donate to them or they don't want to. Mm -hmm. What if they've done something and it's, it, it is not on camera? Okay. That's another question too. When I was doing my birthday donation, mm -hmm. I had people who sent me money and, and, and asked me not to mention them. Mm -hmm. They said I shouldn't even thank them. Mm -hmm. They just want to support so assuming somebody says somewhere and say, Oh, I've seen Chamu. He said that he is okay, he, he gets money. But when an Arigan is doing donation to uh, uh Kualibu, mm -hmm. we didn't see Chamu giving support. How would you know? It is not everybody that would even support the people of mm. Mepe or, mm. or, or is it Mepe? Mepe. Mepe. Uh -huh. and, and would want the world to see. It is not everybody. For all you know, crap, one of these executive club members. That's what I'm saying. Um, um, yeah, maybe they've it. done in some movie. Movie. Charlie, these are rich people. They are, they are networking. Yeah. They are they network. They know how they do them. I'm not saying they've done it. But what I'm just asking. It's what a possibility. If, 
What if they've done that? <laughs> and if they've not done it, and so what? Can't you say force? Eh, of course, it's not force. They are not under any obligation to go and support mm. or donate to anybody. Mm. They are not. They, they should just feel ah, anti. See, he thinks he is doing the people of Mepe good, but he is doing them evil. He is yeah. doing them bad. Yes, if you ask Nega, is not doing the people of Mepe. He, she good. is not sympathizing with them. Yeah. Because if she is sympathizing with them, she will not use them or their, their situation as a cause to go and mm. fight. The executive is the executive mm. club. She will not, she would dare not. She feels like I already have a personal issues with these people, mm. or maybe one of them. Mm. So, this is an opportunity. Let me just go and attack them, let me drag them in the mind, make people feel. And, and funny enough, a lot of some people or some Ghanaians will fall for some of these things. Oh, yeah, that these are the conversations they have. I didn't think I went crazy. Oh, be quiet, you were dying. Hope it's never ready to be there. Ever done because oh 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 oh. I'm going to say. Oh my God, we're there. We're going to see. I'm going to say. Bossy, grow him. He's just going to say, "Bossy, yes, you're not a kid. You're just my boom grow up." I say, "As you say, you want me to stop and I go be your mate, did you?" All right. So, okay, so, so, so rapping at me, I think if you ask, no, sh everybody should understand this. If you ask, nigga is fighting a personal fight. Mm. Full stop. Mm. Okay, Jamu. Yeah. Take it from there. Take it from there. Yeah, but my, I'll, I'll be quick on this. I think they yeah. have touched on all the all the issues that I I want to. Mm. But me, what I'll add is that it's legal uh, club. I mean, if not anything at all, I think I think mm. they will be among people who have donated or done philanthropic work like uh, to the highest level like mm. they're thinking about it mm. i mean despite used to uh, organize blood donations mm. give a lot of things to mm. the widows and mm. all that people were mm -hmm. for <laughs> who donate things more than or uh, brother uh, of Orisa who, who do some of this thing more than them. I, I think Efia Shwasnega uh, had uh, personal issues yeah. and she wanted to use people of Mepe and their mm. uh, sad situation to fight her own fight. Mm. And nobody should, I mean, support some of this thing. Mm. Efia Shwasnega is deliberately using that that thing to just uh, uh, do whatever that they want to do, mm. and and I think it is not fair on on her part to do that. I mean, you can't tell people when and how mm. they should donate, and even comparing it to Ibrahim Mohammed's donation, mm -hmm. you you will even push people to think the other way. I mean, yeah. we know that some of the donations going are not because they want to sympathize mm. with the people. Mm. They want to score political points. We know that almost all the politicians in that area, they mm. are doing their thing. Mm. They are donating and talking and mm. like a whole lot. We, we know what happened when Nanado said that I'm here as a president. If it were to be a vote, I wouldn't be here. Mm. Look at the way they twisted the whole thing and then started doing propaganda with it. Mm -hmm. It's not like they want to help people of Mepe. They want to score a political point mm. because Nanado was so emphatic and was so clear. You can see that what he said was a joke. But no, politicians didn't take it as a joke. Mm. They, they took it as a means to, I mean, score more political points, points. and yeah. get more votes from them. So I, I fear Schwarzenegger is doing the same line. I mean, bringing in... Ibrahim Mahama is not even cool. I think I wish that he, she wouldn't have done that because Ibrahim Mahama is also a political figure. Yeah. So he has interest. He, he, he will wish that his brother will win an election. So donating to them is a means of also campaigning for them to vote for his brother. Okay. And, and he will have a huge benefit if his brother wins uh, the election. Mm. So 
I, I think we don't have to, I mean, go with a fierce nigger on this. I mm. think she has a personal agenda and mm. just trying to insult people that mm. ordinarily she, she, she cannot even stand in front of them mm. and say anything. Mm. But now there's an issue for her to use it. Mm. So, very much, let's, let's forget a fierce nigger and move on. Okay, according to Chemo, or not a former. Will be at me, Bobby. Uh -huh. This situation has happened, and you know, if you ask Rastega, according to Chemo, and then probably most of them are saying that she's taking advantage of it and you know, doing whatever she wants to do. On this note, we want to draw down the curtain to today's episode, Friday edition. And uh, brah, unless more will be a Mubeka. Okay, so Chemo happens to be IT specialist, YouTuber, Nana Reagan in the middle side happens to be the road manager to one day share of town records. Same way Roland Amate, blogger and the reporter, same way my social media marketer to Shark Z. My name MC Berima happen to be your favorite MC's MC. Tomorrow, tomorrow we are entering into weekend already and uh there's gonna be fireworks. So you being out there, you need to be very good. And take care of yourself. Say thank you to Carissa the Digital Rasta. He handled cameras, uh, Richard Flex, our editor, our producer. Until then, we'll meet up on Monday again with another beautiful edition of it. So stick and stay connected to Sammy Flex TV because we are indeed entertainment. Peace and we are out.